So we are in Woodside Apartments now. Um, wow, the the shadow just glitched out big time there. What the fuck? What the fuck is up with that? Alright, I'm wondering if one of the mods is kind of fucked up for the shadows, but whatever. Is there anything in here? Alright. Oh my god, it's going to be so much better going to this from Resident Evil 1, though. Jesus, I was just recording the first three episodes of that, and... Fuck, I missed the combat from this game now. Like, you can actually melee shit down. Come on, kill him. Stomp him out, you pussy. Come on, dude. Stop him! Jesus! I need to get the gun. Okay, now I don't remember the controls. <laughs> oh no! Alright, holy shit! Alright, there we go. Let's not die to monsters. God damn. And I was just saying I was gonna be glad. Uh, wait, did I get the map? It's too dark to read the map. Ooh. Well, we're gonna fix that problem right now, aren't we? And there's the second enemy of the game. And no, I'm not gonna bother attacking him. That thing's gonna kick my ass, probably. Considering everything else is kicking my ass. Because I don't have a gun yet. I need a damn gun. Those things are so creepy, though, from far away. Because they just stand there ominously staring at you. Until you go up close enough to them, and then they become active. <laughs> Die, you fuck. Give me bullets. Whoa, holy fucking shit. Dude, that scared the piss out of me. It's been a long time since I've been in this room. I, uh, I totally forgot that there was anything in here. Cool. Is there anything in here? Oh yeah, I already went in here. It's the poop room. He's looking at something over here, though, isn't he? Or his head just decided to look over there for no reason? Alright. There's a mod, too, to change this to the PS2 camera, which is way faster. I really should do that. He's just going to move it out of the way. Oh, I don't have to interact with both of them at the same time. Where's the flashlight button? I forget. G, H, V. That's what it was. You can hear him actively get faster, too, when the flashlight's on. Boom. I don't even know if there's anything at the end of this hallway. <laughs> I forgot too, those things don't crawl around or anything. That'd be the most horrific shit ever. Oh good, I came down here to kill that shit for no reason. Great. Can't go in there. Ah, oh, man. Is 
now normally you would go this way, obviously, because that's where a monster was. However, there's nothing in this room until... Must be from the person who lived here. Three different sizes. Time on the run. Three young men circling around the sun. Henry is short and very, very slow. Scott can't stop. He's always on the go. Yeah, that's referring to the puzzle in the next room. Um, it's a clock puzzle. It's really just Henry Mildred Scott, which obviously is our minute second, but they still give you a clue. This is on easy, too. So, it gives you, like, the most obvious clues and shit. Scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. No, because I don't have the key yet. So basically, you just make the clock show the times on the wall. And that's the same solution for every difficulty. There's other... Like, there's codes you'll find in the game that you actually have to find because the codes are randomized. Which is pretty damn genius. Like, making it so you can't just know the code or look it up. You can look up where the code is, but you still have to actually get there. Alright, time to go upstairs to the spooky, scary spot. So this room is pretty damn cool. It's got, like, obviously it looks more like there was, you know, a 50 cal machine gun going off in this room, but it's just pot marked with bullet holes. And, oh shit. How am I hurting so bad? It's lovely pyramid head. We finally see him. So yeah, basically that noise is supposed to indicate like, oh shit, you're supposed to come down here. Who the fuck? Oh my god. Who could have And yeah, if you're thinking that looks a lot like James, that's because it's literally his player model. <laughs> and Pyramid Head's gone. 
So yeah, you have to actually go upstairs and try to get that key up there. Because you're supposed to think that's the key for the clock. And then you go get the gun, and then that activates Pyramid Head being there. Otherwise that shit doesn't happen. I've always wanted to know what exactly <laughs> is in there. Like, what does it feel like? Why does he freak out at first? Obviously you can't see anything, so it would be pretty damn trippy no matter what, but... And then we're going to be solving this clock puzzle. Which I think is 917 or whatever. Or 9 f fucking. Yeah, I think it's 917. Or 915 and 7 seconds or some shit. What the fuck is it? Oh no, it's 9, 10, and 15 seconds. Why am I retarded? And this one spot is, well, this one spot and then the couple of these that are in Silent Hill 4 are the whole reason there's about 90 of them in Silent Hill Homecoming. It's so overdone in that game, it's annoying. Like the dude cuts through random flesh walls over and over again. Because I need the bullets to kill Pyramid Head, or I mean, never mind. <gasps> well, you don't kill him. But... What I was gonna say is, uh, <laughs> I 
need to save the bullets for the boss fight, but then I spoiled who the boss is, so whatever. So I'm just gonna skip by this time. Oh boy. However, I'd still like to check uh, what's in the various rooms. Okay, that's where I actually need to go, right? Yeah. However, I wanted... Oh yeah, I have to grab the key on the other side anyways. Why am I so stupid? No, it's right here. Correct? Yeah. We are on the third floor right now. God, this camera's really bad. What the hell? I don't remember it being so slow to catch up to James. It's clearly been a long time since I played this on the PC as well. Last time I beat it was on PS2. first time I played this, I was so fucking scared that something was going to break through that door and come and attack me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. It's hiccuping again. It's only outside that it does that. Why the fuck, man? So now we have the courtyard key, which means we can go in there. We also have the canned juice, though, that I grabbed on that first floor. And, uh, one thing I didn't show you, but, well, I kind of pointed it out, I think, is this garbage chute is blocked. So what you do is you put the canned juice down the tube yielder. And then you go grab a coin which you need for a puzzle in the next part of the apartment area. Whee. Oh, there's the map. I never even grabbed it. Don't really need it, but... And then here is a reference to Silent Hill 4, which obviously wasn't out yet, but... The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Waller Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it. But it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Which, you know, of course... That's foreshadowing Pyramid Head. As he was shown as the Red Devil upstairs with the red light and all that shit. Why is there no music? Is there not supposed to be any audio in here other than the spooky monsters? So we have to come in here. I really don't want to fight the shit in here though. Because I will fucking get wrecked. But yeah, to do a 10 star run you have to kill all those. With a gun it's not that bad though. 
I don't want to use all my bullets because I'm not playing on, like, once you beat the game, every time you beat the game, you have extra modes, too, where you can actually, um, you can add bullet adjustments. So, like, every bullet thing you get, every bit of ammo you get is multiplied by an amount. So right now I would have, like, 150 if I had beat the game three times and turned that on. You can get up to times nine, too, so you only need to get, like, one, one box of ammo for the whole fucking game, basically. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I swear. He was like this when I got here. My, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid. <laughs> red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird-looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here, anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... Too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. <laughs> so, if you're familiar with... Oh, yeah, so this is what he's talking about. Just fucking dead dude in the fridge. Yum, yum. Um... If you're familiar with the movie from Silent Hill, they actually use a lot of the music from this game in it. I don't remember if there's anything else worthy of being looked at in here. Oh, there's this room. Can't see the dude though. Oh great, it's got the sound glitch. So I don't have dual core turned off then. That's <laughs> shitty. The looping sound glitch is from using multiple cores. Which is a glitch that exists in the um, console version of the game. Because they didn't realize, oh hey, we're supposed to just run this game on a single core. Because uh, I don't know why exactly. The issue is there, but clearly it's like trying to process the sound on multiple cores at the same time. Yeah, so you can only go. Oh, it says to hell. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's just trying to process the audio on every core that it's running. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, it's over the 20 minute mark anyway, so I'm going to save here. I'm going to try and fix that issue before I record the next part. Free space, 9 million, 99 million. <laughs> Alright, cool.
But yeah, I'm gonna just quickly go and check the config file. I must have a couple things not turned on. Or I I really might have to reinstall the game because I formatted since last time I played this, so I haven't actually reinstalled it because um, all my games are installed on a different hard drive. And old games generally get fucked up if you reformat without reinstalling them. But we shall see. I'm going to just go quickly see if I can fix that, and I will be back in the next part. Peace.